rocket science taught me about personal growth. Um, this is a journey from failure to flight. So as aerospace engineers, we expect failure to happen. It happens every day, every project, every year. But we let failure pick us up, do iterations, and carry our designs forward to create successful rocket launches. I failed nearly every single exam when I was going through school, and I am talking about U's, F's, everything. And despite the potential that a lot of teachers saw in me, there was also this belief that I wouldn't quite make it, and I wouldn't quite get the grades to let me do what I wanted to do. But somehow I found my wings. I got the grades I needed in my final exams, and I got my wings, and I flew here to Belfast to do an aerospace engineering degree at Queen's. But with me, I carried a lot of those beliefs that had been instilled in me through school. I had this vision for this brighter future of what could be, where I was going to go, how I was going to fly and get off the ground, how I was going to break through the barriers and anything else I was going to come up against. But with me, I carried these beliefs that, was I good enough? Could I do this? I'm 300 miles away from home. I know no one here. How do I make friends? How do I find myself? But that's the whole point. In engineering, you learn that redesign is the point. You have to get a drawing. You have to start from something that is merely a concept and a vision, just like this TEDx, and design it into something that is great and something that lifts. You take the failures, you take the things that fall apart, the things that don't fit, the things that hurt, and you keep going. And that's the whole thing about rocket design. Even when it launches, you have to shed layers. You have to drop the weight and let it go, because otherwise you never go through gravity and you never ascend up into space. And we are very much the same. As humans, we carry these layers, we carry these beliefs, we carry these failures in our hearts. And sometimes that's the problem, is when we let the failures move from our head into our heart. We question if we're good enough, we question if we can do it, and sometimes we say, is it really worth it? But the thing is, is we have to take these layers off. Sometimes we have to take our protective narrative off, and we have to put it down. We have to feel the weightlessness to let ourselves ascend, to lift off the ground. So I learned that rocket science is messy. It's noisy, and it is just chaotic sometimes. But like I said, rocket science is all about testing, designing, failing, and redesigning. And as I've gone through my journey so far, I've learned that maybe Human and personal growth is very much the same process. But there's a balance. Sometimes we get so fixated on perfectionism that it has to be right before we move. We have to have the plan, we have to have the time, we have to have the moment, we have to feel like we can do it. But that's a trap we tell ourselves that also stops us moving forward. We can also go the other way into complacency, where we don't think enough before we act. We jump before we've even checked if we've got our parachute or a safety backup. And sometimes these complacencies can cost lives, especially in engineering. But there's a balance point. We balance between perfectionism and slacking and complacency. And it's very much like walking a tightrope. We have this resourcefulness and the balance we often refer to as engineering. And sometimes pain hurts. Sometimes we push it too far, and we don't realize until we're already gone. This was me when I was 18 years old, in a career that I thought I was going to have, but missed out on by nine seconds. And that completely changed my trajectory. I pushed myself beyond the point of breaking, beyond what I was designed for. So I properly failed. But I picked myself back up, because like I said, I had this vision. And if you have a vision, hold on to that vision and let it pull you forward. So the pain we feel can show up in our bodies. The different emotions we feel have been shown to show up in different ways. And it's the same in engineering. When there's cracks, it's not always that something is fundamentally wrong, but it's a signal for us to look, 
for us to ask questions, to investigate a little bit more about what's going on, what's not right. And our brains need failure. I'm no neuroscientist, but a lot of studies have shown that failure helps us learn. It's the way we move forward. We learn us about ourselves and about the world. But as adults, we stop. We have this vision maybe that we've carried, this dream that we've always had to open up a shop or to be an astronaut. But we stop. And we see the stairs, but we look at the first one and we hesitate in taking that first step. Why do we hesitate in taking that first step? And I think sometimes we lose the way of the child. Children are intuitively curious. They try, they fall down, they cry, and they get back up. They hurt themselves, they spend minutes figuring something out, but they keep going. And you see how much a child grows through its youth. And our inner childs are still in there, and we can talk to them. We can look in a mirror, whether literally or metaphorically, and we can ask ourselves, what failures are we holding on to? What dreams do we have that we've not realized and we aren't working towards? What failures are we holding, setbacks? And what are we saying is finite, rather than a possibility and something we can use as fuel to carry on? And one thing I've learned is that success is not final and failure is not fatal, but it is the courage to continue that counts, as said by Winston Churchill. But failure only defines us if we let it, if we don't take anything from it. But when we reflect and we ask ourselves, what can I learn from that, even though it hurt, even though it sucks, what can I learn from it and how can I go on next? How can I do something different and how can I try again? And another simple way to look at it is failure is just a first attempt at learning. So on this journey that I've been through so far with much pain, much loneliness and tears, as we've all probably experienced at some point in our lives and we will inevitably experience again, there has also been so much joy so much connection with people around me, and so many things I've got to experience like this. So I want to ask you, what failures have happened to you? What are you letting hold you back? And what are you saying is good enough? It could be worse. And how can you use that as fuel to lift you off? Thank you.